Hello, my friends. I have a really impressive portfolio website to share with you today that will hopefully give you some good inspiration. We're going to take a look at Kristen Dominguez's one project portfolio that helped her transition from teaching to a top instructional design role at Amazon Web Services. <laughs> All right, so I first met Kristen in my ID bootcamp program. So over the past several months, my team and I have been working with her and it's just been really cool seeing what she's been able to accomplish. Again, it's a one project portfolio and she was able to use it to land her first ID role at Amazon. So we're gonna check it out together. You've heard me say it once and I will probably say it again. You only need one strong project on your portfolio to land really, really good opportunities. So here's Kristen's site. You can see as soon as we get here that it has a lot of personality, right? So there's some accents. We see this nice, um, like full height almost image of Kristen. So it's very friendly and inviting, still professional though. And we can even see some screenshots from Kristen's flagship project. So we know that Kristen has some um, like e-learning or multimedia experience. So a good hero section here. Um, it's intriguing. It has personality and we, we've, we're getting to know Kristen immediately with that um, almost full height headshot. So here we go. Hi, I'm Kristen. I create intentional and engaging learning experiences that prioritize the learner. So this is good, intentional and engaging that prioritize the learner. Um, we, we see, of course, a lot of different variations of this. And, and it's good because it is pretty clear about what you do, right? We're designing engaging learning experiences. But as you'll see, once we get into Kristen's project and um, some other parts of her site, I think that Kristen could craft this to be a bit more um, more personalized to her strength and skill set, which I think incorporates a lot of like visual storytelling, um, which which we'll get into. So storytelling and visual storytelling, I think Kristen could highlight that a bit more to to emphasize those skills even more. But as we scroll down from here, we see this featured project. So five star sales strategies. And we can see right here the subtitle, do you have what it takes to drive up sales and reviews? So we're inviting, we're inviting the audience to engage in this challenge, right? See if we can drive up the sales and reviews um, with even more info. So this is good. So I see some people's portfolio websites and um, we'll have the hero section, right? We'll be able to see like who they are and what they do. But then it goes into like kind of like services or like just like a lot of text heavy stuff. But really people are coming to your site to see your projects. So the sooner we get into that, the better. So that's why I always recommend right after that hero section, bring us into a featured project or multiple featured projects if you have like up to three, because people are gonna be most interested probably in those projects. So we will definitely take a look at this. But we're just taking in the whole homepage right now. And of course, you've heard me say this before too, social proof is really powerful. So including some quotes like this, really good. I wrote Kristen a, a, a testimonial just because I worked with her um, quite closely. Um, but you can see too, Kristen got testimonials from peop from yearbook representatives. Kristen was really big into like yearbook when she was teaching um, other instructional mentors and coaches. So people from your past can definitely write you good testimonials. It doesn't have to be like an instructional design client, for example. Just that social proof shows other people, um, yeah, all the good stuff that you might want to say about yourself, but it's just even more credible when other people are backing you up. And then we see this like footer almost where Krista mentioned she's seeking full-time employment, reach out if she can help. So she's very, very clear. I'm not interested in clients. I'm not just posting this to share my work. I am seeking full-time employment. So uh, if you are very clear about what your goal is, you can explicitly state that throughout your website, um, which of course helped her. Yeah, she she used this site to land like a handful of offers, go into negotiations, and again, accept a really good role at Amazon Web Services. So, so it works being very clear um, like that. And then also, I haven't been calling as much attention to it, but notice like the playful color scheme and like these little like shapes, like it, it, it makes this portfolio really unique. It gives it some personality, it makes it a bit more memorable than... Um, then something a bit more like bland, for example. So see, nice nice attention to detail, changing up the color on these quotation marks. It's even nice having an icon here at all. Um, it's just a nice, a nice touch. And you can see she incorporates these like throughout the site. So really strong homepage. If I'm gonna give some nitpicky feedback, we could probably use a little bit more spacing beneath five-star sales strategies here. Um, so just a little bit more breathing room there, but again, really nitpicky stuff. This is very far along. And the only other nitpicky feedback would maybe be to reduce a little bit of the spacing at the top here, possibly, just because we're if we're looking above the text, it feels like we have a, 
a, a lot of negative space here and not as much below the button. But I'm pretty sure above Kristen's like photo here and below the button are consistent. But because of how this text looks, we could probably um, either move up these elements or reduce the negative space at the top. So minor details here. I want to I want to just jump right into this project first, just because it is so cool. So let's like check that out first together. So I'm going to press that learn more button. I opened it in a new tab. Again, we have these design elements, so it feels very consistent. We know we're on the same website because Kristen is repeating this design element. So really good strategy there. If we only had it on the home page and then there's like no other side of it, yeah, it would be a nice home page, but this really makes the site feel cohesive. And this is new too. You, you probably don't see this on many portfolios, but Kristen actually recorded a video. Oh, that was pretty loud for me. But Kristen recorded a video where she actually walks you through her process write-up. Because as we're going to see, this is a lot of text for this um, project, for this write-up, as they usually are for people who want to dive deeper. But um, Kristen showed off her presentation skills and lets you, you know, get to know her a bit better by recording this personalized video like this. And shows off her video editing skills by adding in icons and, and, and um, different title screens and stuff like that. So really good idea if you want to make your page pop a bit more, if you want to deepen that relationship with your audience, record a video like this. It's a It's a... Um, a powerful approach and it, and there might be more likely that people will watch a four minute video than reading every word in a process write-up like this. Um, let's take a look at the project before we go into the process write-up again, just because it is like, it's a really cool project and I want you to be able to experience it. So I'm going to restart it from the beginning. So here we are, five star sales strategies. Do you have what it takes to drive up sales and reviews? And we're working at a tanning sal salon essentially. So it's scenario based, story driven. Let's begin. All right, so the sales at the, at the tanning salon have been down and we need to help turn things around and drive up those sales. So here's the sales expert. We can reach out to Olivia if we ever need any help. But just by selecting this Ask Olivia button. So you've probably seen this approach a lot. We recommend this having the mentor character that lets us pull information when we want instead of making this like an information-based info dump kind of course where we dump information on people. But just notice how immersive this feels like we're up close and personal with this character. They're not like standing full screen like it feels like they're really far away. Very nice like full screen kind of effect here. And check this out. Make sure to turn your sound on. Use the music playing now to help you adjust your volume so it's just right. It's a really nice touch. Nice like elevatory kind of music. Um, but it sets a good vibe. Sets a good scene for the rest of the project. So we will continue now. Again, a little, mo a little uh, moment of delight. We've got some more sound effects. We can see what we're going for. We want all of the circles to fill up. So we want to keep our customer star rating in mind. So this is just a way to like measure our progress. It's a form of um, like progress meter or success meter, essentially. All right. Nice transition. We're in the shop now. Customer is coming in. And how would we like to greet the customer? So um, just to give you kind of a spoiler alert here, the, the idea of this project is people were like pushing these sales too aggressively on customers and it was giving them like a, a bad experience. But check out what we do if we encourage the customer to take advantage of our current sale. So this is the, the action we're trying to get people not to do. Let's say someone's like, oh yeah, I got to drive up sales. Let's tell them to take advantage of the sale. So I'm going to choose this option. So nice sound effect when we got it wrong. So good um, reinforce, you know, reinforcement punishment, so to speak, <laughs> but it lets us know we didn't select the right answer and we can see the character's expression change too. Very nice combination of animation and still images. I don't know if you've noticed that, but you can use Vyond stills. Um, these, these videos are built with a tool called Vyond, but we tried to push the sale. The customer is upset. They say, you know what? I think I left something in my car. I'm going to go grab it. Now check out this next part. Really good. The customer leaves and never returns. Instead, she writes a negative review about her experience at the, the tanning salon. Now, Kristen could have left this here. And a lot of people do leave it here and we just try again. But look at how nice this next part is with the visual storytelling. Sound effects. Came to Radiant Rays after a long day to relax. The sales associate made me feel like I needed to buy something the minute I walked in. I'm canceling my membership. So now we're seeing what we wouldn't see in the real world, right? So Kristen is, is make, making this even more memorable. But we're actually seeing this customer walk out. They're clearly upset. We can hear them typing on their phone. We can, you know, they're, they're angrily walking. And here we go. We can actually see the review that they left. It, this makes it a bit more real for us. It makes it a bit more immersive. So Kristen does a really good job with this. We'll see this on her website too, just like her about page. The, the storytelling piece is really powerful here. So I'm, 
feel free to go to, you know, I'm going to, of course, link Kristen's site below so that you can experience this for yourself, but try it out. Really, really cool flagship project, really nice use of Beyond. So lots of good inspiration here and very good use of sound effects, moments of delight, just a, a really strong flagship project. So looking at the write-up now, again, the write-up is very, very thorough. We can see the problem, the solution. We get into the process and Kristen takes us behind the scene, like uncovers basically her entire process, gives us x-ray vision into how this project came to life. So really good for hiring managers and recruiters because so they can see, yeah, you actually know what you're talking about. Like you, you, you created deliverables that you're going to need to create on the job. You brought this through a real instructional design process, collected feedback along the way. That's how you get to such a strong final product. My only feedback on this page, it is nice having it like full width like this, but with these effects, it might be nice to, you know, because they overlap the text some places, it could not be great for readability. So I'd probably try to align these with like the images, kind of like on the home page. it was like going behind an image instead of over text or behind text. Um, or another option would be to even um, make the width of this like text box a bit smaller and have these visual effects like out on the sides so they don't like overlap the text. So a couple of options there, but again, really nice on brand. Look at how strong these um, screenshots look. So really, really nice seeing into the, the process like this. Notice even if you're not reading the text, looking at the screenshots alone kind of tell a story and you can see the progress, see some of the top features. Um, a suggestion here for Kristen would be to upload a thumbnail on YouTube because notice this one is kind of pixelated. I think YouTube is just trying like grabbing this from a still of the video. But if you upload a custom thumbnail, a high resolution one, I think this would look a lot crisper on the um, with within the, the site here. So look at how crisp this screenshot is, though. This is this is beautiful. And and then Kristen showed off using JavaScript to award a certificate of completion. It, it incorporates the user's name and the current date. So I have a tutorial on my site for how to do this. And I and we found now I'm seeing a very common trend. We've helped probably five or six people now land um, these curriculum developer roles at Amazon Web Services. And showing off that you can use JavaScript with a storyline course, very, very appealing to people who are going into Amazon Web Services and working with this like technical, like engineering related content. So um, yeah, showing off those advanced technical skills, whether you're using JavaScript to generate a certificate, track some, um, you know, user interactions with XAPI, which their tutorial is on the YouTube channel for as well. Showing off those skills in a project goes a really long way for some of these more technical positions. So if you've been felt scared by JavaScript, don't. Um, again, I have tutorials that will help you out with that. It's a really good skill to show off. So just wanted to point out that that trend I'm seeing. So let's dive back into it. So very, very thorough write-up, tons of um, screenshots throughout. And, and we can even see this job aid that Kristen created. So this is what a really strong write-up looks like. Again, you don't have to read every word. You can still get a really good idea of what's going on. The write-up is 50% of the project. Don't forget that piece. Don't, don't skimp out on the write-ups, essentially. And look at how good this is, too. Kristen even incorporates social proof on the write-up page. So we can see, that, you know, this is stuff that our peers are saying, maybe people in the boot camp, maybe um, former coworkers that she showed it showed it to, but we can see actual feedback that Kristen received, and she's just quoting it here directly, using these same design elements, these same icons. So the repetition, very, very on point. And then again, that call to action at the bottom. We're not just leaving people right here and saying, okay, yeah, you're done reading, now what? Again, we have that call to action at the bottom. And I recommend doing this. Whenever, whenever someone gets to the bottom of one of your pages, you wanna leave them with an action to take. You don't just wanna leave it on like some text because they don't know where to go next. So we'll always try to guide them to the next spot. In most cases, that will be a contact form. Maybe it's leading people back to your featured project, but always keep in mind, where are we bringing the user's journey next? Where do we want them to go next? Something really good to keep in mind. So if we do click on let's chat, then it of course does bring us to a nice clean contact form. We have these same design elements. It looks like this one gets cut off. So minor feedback would be good to kind of look into that uh, and not let that one get cut off like it is, but pretty minor. And then of, co of course the submit button is um, overlapping the message box a bit here. So having some about this same amount of spacing right here beneath the message box um, and above the submit button. So minor things. Kristen built this with Webflow and Webflow is like a super powerful tool for building custom sites like this, but it has a learning curve and you have to kind of keep an eye on what's going on for like every breakpoint. 
So it's tough doing some testing and getting the hang of it, but Kristen did a, a really great job here with it being her first time using Webflow. So really powerful tool, but you have to be extra careful of stuff like this happening just because you do have such precise control. If you like leave one little thing out, you can run into situations like this. So yeah, minor details. Let's look at these other pages now quickly. So the about page, Kristen did an amazing job on this. So we talk about this a lot, right? We want to bring personality into your into your portfolio. We want people to feel like they're building a connection with you and getting to know you without even talking to you yet. So then when it does come time for that interview, they feel like they already know you because they've seen your site and they have a lot of like positive energy towards you. So, so once again, Kristen here uses her, her storytelling skills to talk a bit about her instructional design journey. And she did such a good job at backing it up with visuals. She had kind of like a photo shoot at the park with her dog, with Map It, with her laptop. We'll see those pictures incorporated throughout. Throughout, But um, anyone can do this with a friend or family member and an iPhone or even a tripod if you're alone and you have like a phone. So let's see. So um, Kristen kind of sums up her story here for people who want like an overview of, of Kristen's journey so far. But then you can see the whole story. So again, nice user experience. Here's a little bit and then a call to action to connect or um, we can go into the whole story. And you can see, yeah, just very nice visual storytelling skills. So obviously some thought when it's like taking these shots and what kind of messaging, um, what kind of messaging Kristen's sending with the shots. And I can see now, yeah, Kristen really loved her like year, leading the yearbook initiatives at her school. You can obviously see that at play here on the site, the visual storytelling. So very well done. Um, I'm not gonna read you all this. You could of course check it out for yourself, but just look at the visual storytelling. Even from the visuals, we could see you know, wow, map it. What a great book. <laughs> and, and I can actually, and I actually feel like I'm there. It's like, okay, yeah, I could see Kristen hanging out at the park, reading map it, doing some upskilling, um, and then hanging out with her dog. So it, it humanizes Kristen a lot. Again, shows us a bit about what she likes doing her hobbies, um, gives us a lot of opportunities for people to connect with her. Like, oh, I love map it too. Hey, I have a dog too. I'm a dog person. I love dogs. Lots of opportunities for people to connect with that. Um, so again, it does make you a bit more vulnerable, vulnerable. Maybe people are like, oh, I don't like dogs. Why would anyone like dogs? That's the risk you take being more vulnerable like this. But we found that this is very effective for helping people land some of these really competitive ID roles. Same feedback with things I might not want them to overlap with the text, but really good, um, way to be consistent with these design elements. And it's pretty minimal, um, detail here. So very good. A new adventure awaits. So look at that too. So the story continues. I'm on search for my next adventure. Um, she's not on search because she she found her next adventure and she's probably not in any rush to update the website because she's, you know, onboarding at Amazon. <laughs> but um, but very cool. Then that call to action, want to join me. I'm currently seeking full-time employment. Reach out if it looks like I can help. Very, very well done. So we're going to look at the final page here. We're just going to take a quick look at the portfolio page, which people may not come to because again, we, we already saw that featured project. So here's another call to action to visit the featured project. And then this employee onboarding um, project that never got finished, but Kristen had um, some ideas for this project. So she wanted to include it on the portfolio in case people wanted to ask her about it in an interview. She was ready to speak about this employee onboarding project that she was working on in the early stages of. So, so this is an option you can do if you like are working on a project, you want to list it here just as a conversation starter. But as far as the design of this page, Again, I probably wouldn't have this overlapping so much with the text. We could probably add some more spacing between project one and project two. But again, it's just a nice minimal page to wh which will eventually house all of Kristen's um, projects. But right now it's just the one and a super strong project at that. So I hope you enjoyed this. Again, I'm going to link to Kristen's site below so you can experience that flagship project for yourself. But ton of um, inspiration on this one. Uh, Really proud of the work Kristen put in and that Amazon role is well deserved. So um, if you would like to work with my team and I on your portfolio and in your like job search, you can go ahead and go to idbootcamp.com to learn more about the bootcamp offer we have. But otherwise, feel free to explore Kristen's site and all of the other portfolios we have on the showcase, which I will link below too. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.